Well, our weed of the week certainly had some buildup today when Brian said it may be the worst weed you could ever possibly have. I didn't. I don't know if I said ever possibly, I, but it could be I, the I worst weed exactly in the United States words. today. But yes, it's a pretty bad one. It is water hemp. Yep. Now, a lot of people want to talk about Palmer pigweed. Well, Palmer pigweed and water hemp are virtually identical plants. They're both smooth pigweeds that can put on over a million seeds per plant. But the good news here is they're both annual plants. Well, and because they're annuals, they've got to come and germinate from a seed every year. Yep. Now we think about these as a little bit warmer season weeds. So they aren't the first thing that starts up in the field in the spring, uh, but after you get that crop in a few weeks later, usually we start to see the pigweeds come. So if we can get a good pre-emerge program, they're still gonna have enough power to take out at least that first flush of water hemp. All right, unfortunately, a lot of water hemp is both Roundup resistant and ALS resistant. So be smart about which pre's you're going to use. I talk to a lot of farmers who say, oh, I've got two pre's out there in my corn and in my soybeans. And I go, well, yeah, but which ones are you using? And then they tell me and I go, well, that's an ALS, that's an ALS, that's an ALS. Well, what, what help did that give you on water hemp? Not much. So be thinking about that all the time. Best thing you can do in soybeans, use the three pre's we talk about all the time, Metribuzin and PPO like Valor Authority and one of the yellows. Yeah, and you can also check these modes of action with the Ag PhD Mode of Action app. So you can put in the products that you're using and it'll tell you exactly what modes of action you're using. That way you can also use different ones when you get to corn. So in corn, for example, a lot of the pre's have a group 15 in them and then they add in a broadleaf killer. If we're using that group 15 as a pre in soybeans as well, we should probably be doing something a little bit different in corn. Okay, in corn post-emerge, really like the HVPDs, otherwise status is great, add a little bit of atrazine to either one of them. In soybeans, you really need to switch over to extend beans and use dicamba, or you could go Liberty beans and use Liberty. In conventional beans or Roundup beans, you got Flexstar and Cobra. They're okay, but they're not nearly as good as what Liberty or dicamba would be. In wheat, we like to start with sharpen down and we come back post-emerge either with Talonor or Husky at the high rate. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week water hemp, but stay tuned, Iron Talk is coming up next.